Okay, let's save this. There's only one problem with this script right now, though, is that if the target is not set, and we have not set it right now, then this script will basically fail. So we need to uh, set something that will set our target before it reaches the update function. So we can do that by using the awake function. And in our awake function, we can check if our target is true or not. So if target, and as you notice, I put an exclamation mark here, which basically means the same as if target equals null or is false, but shorthand for that is just a capital. So if target is not set, we can set the target by using target is now game object dot find with tag and then player. And of course dot transform because this is a transform variable. Now, of course, we've not set the tag on our player yet, so let's do that next. Let's save this script, go back into Unity. No errors are popping up. And then we need to tag our player as the player, which is a predefined tag within Unity, so that's fine. Let's save our script and run it, see what happens. And as you can see now, our cube is rotating quite slowly. Very nice. So it's trying to find us but we could outrun it if we're fast. Now if we want to make it um, rotate slower, of course we can change our script a little bit and with this would be the timing so we could also multiply it by for example 1.2 save it and now as you can see it rotates a lot slower. So if you really want to give the impression your turret is very industrial and it's rotating pretty slowly and play for example with sound while it's rotating then that would be the way to do it. Very cool so far. Okay next we need to implement some things like being out of range and finding out if there is collision between the player and the turret. Alright so let's do that next.